just uh, thought I was recording and I was painting this blue here and we're just using it as a base for the ocean uh, I just kind of added a few colors I got some acrylic craft paint stuff you know out of the closet and we're just trying to mix some stuff up kind of make uh, Something like that. It's nice. We go. There's really no right or wrong way to do this kind of stuff, right? This is more just the artistic aspect of it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the sand. So I got some tan kind of colors. I'm gonna do the sand up here and then meet them and then we'll finish off with the white uh you know the edge of the water where the waves are kind of crashing into each other. We'll finish off with that. And that'll kind of... Yeah, these are nice waves. You like that? Yeah, I like the blue one. Yeah. Ooh. This is going to be your ocean part yeah, of your land. Yeah, this pink kind of dry. It is dry. Be careful. Oh, don't push it too hard. we gotta, we got to be nice to it still because it's not quite... It's not quite dry enough to touch. Will you not touch it, please? Thank okay. you. Thank you. It's not quite ready to touch quite yet. A little bit of this color out in the water here. Some Bob, there's some Bob Ross stuff here. Trial and error, right? You can always repaint this stuff and if you don't like it. Wind's blowing this way today. That's the break. Yeah, it's gotta leave it at some point, right? Alright, so we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna go and do our sand tan color. Go right up to this uh, edge of the gray here and then uh, we'll finish off with a little white you know waves breaking. We'll, let, we'll do some white and we'll add a little bit of this kind of turquoisey looking color with the white and I think that'll look nice. All right so <clears throat> I uh, took some took some brown and lightened it up with some yellow. Try to get close to like a sandy yeah, looks a little mustardy, but I think it'll, I think that flies. What do you guys think? All right, so I'm going to try to cut in this line with this little tiny, uh, this little tiny artist brush thing. Is that what we do? Ah, oh, shit, see, I already, already messed up, man. All right. Hey, wish I didn't stop it. That was a nice little run. All right, let's go. All right, I'm back and we're going to continue painting our straight line here. It's pretty tough. I've never tried to do this with a, uh, an artist brush thing before in an old one. If that, this thing's got to be like freaking. 30 years old or something, I think. All right. This brush is really soft, so I'm barely, barely, barely putting any pressure on the brush and just kind of, I'm actually almost hovering with it above the surface more than putting it on the surface. It's more of like a hover. So my arm is kind of at a stuck position going like this. It's not in a rested, rested state at all. So. Just there. I don't think I need to do another coat with this stuff. I think it looks kind of cool like this. You know, a big key of this is really just not bringing a bunch of paint up to that line. You know, I always, I always get rid of some. And I kind of bring the little bit that's around it and the little bit that's on my brush up to it, you know. That, let's try to get it as straight as we can. We're going to have an error, like right here, I have a tiny bit of yellow going up on the gray. That's my first, you know, that's where I first started cutting in. It doesn't look that great, and I'm going to fix that and have to go over with some gray to make that right, you know. Um, so it's in, in your control. You should always try to do the best you can. You like this sand here? Yeah. What do you think about it? Good. Good? You're going to play with your guys at the beach now, huh? Yeah, and the fish can kind of be in the water. 
The fish? Yep. Yeah, it kept swimming in the water. All your pretend fish stuff, huh? Yeah, my pretend fish. It kept swimming in the water. That's right. Oh, this one turned into brown. Whoops. Shit. Now I just got a drip, a drop landed right on freaking gray of the brush. I should be having this over here. That's the best thing to do, but I guess there's a risk of it going on here too, so can't always prevent every single mistake. And hey, that wiped up pretty good, even without uh, water. And I'll probably just touch that up as I touch uh, this little piece of the lineup over here later. And I think we are there. Alrighty. Let's put our little white uh, finishing touches here. Let's try to get a little bit just a hint of blue in it. That's what I'm looking for, so. All right, everybody, so that's my uh, little artistic stuff. Um, copy me or don't, but pretty simple. You know, make up your own colors. Get some darker and put a little bit lighter with it if you want to blend and you know, just bring up a picture on like Google or something of a ocean or beach scene, diorama, whatever, and uh, copy what it looks like if you can. So that's what I get out of it. And so tomorrow we're gonna make a little river that's gonna be next. And we'll probably just do green on either side of it. Stay tuned and we'll see you next time.